A Triad family was way ahead of the game when it came to selecting their final resting place. Four plots in an Alamance County Cemetery bought years ago. They wanted to be side by side even after they passed. They used the first two for loved ones two, 20 years ago. When it came time to use another, they got a terrible surprise. Two wants to know Kevin Kennedy found out what shook up their decades old plan. There's something about a bond between a sister we just loved one another and her brother he could make me laugh and i could make him laugh we just loved being together a kinship that when nurtured grows stronger by the day he was my best friend for teresa norton there is no better person in the world than her brother jerry he was a great man of character he was a stupendous stupendous person he really was a half century of memories and moments all flooding back on one day November 19th, 2019, Jerry is diagnosed with cancer. For us, it was devastating because we don't have cancer that runs in our family. Jerry would battle. The cancer went into remission, but it came back meaner and more aggressive. In December of 2021, Jerry had to be rushed to the hospital. The tumor was growing and it was pressing on his, in his lung and was causing a lot of excessive bleeding. The prognosis not good. Teresa had to start thinking about a funeral. I made a call to Alamance Memorial uh, to just check in on the plots that we have. The family owns four plots, one for their sister who passed in 2000, one for their mom who died in 2003, and the other two for Jerry and Teresa. The plan was is that when Jerry passed, we would put him in one of those plots. Jerry and Teresa bought their plots back in 2003, not knowing almost 20 years later there would be a horrible mix-up. I was informed that one of those plots had been, one of our plots had been sold to another person and that there was someone buried in one of our plots. What was supposed to be empty, now occupied by another person buried back in 2011. Shot would probably be an understatement. I just have no clue that this could even happen. How? How do you make a mistake like this? And more importantly, what can be done to fix it? I was devastated and I told them that this other person needed to be removed. The problem is that's not easily done in North Carolina. The cemetery commission can't intervene and no crime was committed so the county attorney won't help. Stonemore Incorporated owns the cemetery, but it didn't when the mix-up happened. Teresa just wants answers and some sort of solution. I have asked, and they blame it on poor record keeping. An answer, but not a solution. They refuse to do anything about it, and that's wrong. One of the senior vice presidents at Stonemore tells us it has reached out to the other family to try and resolve the matter, but they don't want the body moved. Stonemore sent us this statement. We as a company are continuing to encourage one or both families to agree to a solution that does not require litigation, and we decline to comment on questions related to legal strategy. The cemetery calling this a civil matter, telling News 2 there is nothing else it can do. It was disturbing then, and it's disturbing now. I, I try to stay positive and not to let it get me down. Teresa forced to hire an attorney and seek legal action, a plot that even the cemetery admits to. Teresa and Jerry own first. I promised him that no matter what, I would keep fighting to get that plot back. A promise she plans to keep, a brother she will always love. Earlier this year, Jerry passed away. He was 60 years old. I told him, I said, I want you to know that you have been the best brother a sister could have. So as this case works its way through the courts, Jerry was buried next to his mother, his sister, and a person he doesn't know. It is a big concern to me that something could happen to me and this would never be resolved. Absolutely. Jerry spent two years fighting cancer. Teresa now fighting to make sure his last wish is granted. In Elmans County, Kevin Kennedy, two wants to know. A preliminary court date is scheduled for next month. It could take more than a year before the court makes a final ruling.